Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to the Utama Cross Gacha video. Before we begin with all the gacha information, we've got a few things, well, kind of Macross related to talk about. So, first things off, as you can tell on the screen, I didn't purposely change Maki 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 to be my uh, main screen diva. It just happens that I need Kyawa dolls from her. So, yes. If you guys have been following me on Instagram and Facebook, once again, the links are in the description down below. Make sure you hit that follow button and like on Facebook um, and catch up with me on all things Macross and of course the stuff that I enjoy as well. So yes, today on the 22nd of July, it is actually Nishida Nosomi's birthday so yes if you don't know who she is she's actually the voice actress and singer of Makina <laughs> so yes today she is celebrating her 31st birthday um, which is gonna be celebrated on tonight's Macross Modelers broadcast on showroom so look forward to that especially if those of you who are Maki Maki fans or Nozomi rule fans of course don't forget those who love Plamo just like Makina. I guess Makila Makina is the real mecha, so uh, plastic models maybe not so much. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yes, it is her 31st birthday, but that's not the big news. She actually announced something. So those of you who has who, who have already been following me on Instagram and Facebook will probably know the news. Um, cause it's been up there like uh, a few hours ago. <laughs> so, yes, she announced her marriage. She's getting married, uh, to a regular, well, regular guy who is probably an office worker in Japan. Um, so yeah, your standard office guy or salary man. Um, in Japan and she's looking forward to start a family of her own which I'm personally very happy for her um, I, I respect her I love her personality and even though she's not so active as a um, singer you know but she does do a lot of radio talk shows <laughs> a lot of hosting that's why she's on Macross Models then she's in the seaside uh, children's radio show as well um, then of course there's some other anime series that she's also involved uh, like Hachi Nai uh, which is the baseball anime and game <laughs> so um, there's a lot of stuff that Nozomiru does um, it's just that unless you are big fans of her you probably won't know her aside from Macross Delta which is the most prominent um, character she's played so far, I guess. <laughs> um, so yes, if you guys follow her on Twitter, make sure you go to her post, um, which has the exact same picture that I showed earlier. It's a bunch of words written by her, um, announcing her marriage and her 31st birthday. So it's a very big thing. You know, it, it can scare a lot of idol fans and all that you know uh, those really who are very very devoted to their idols or favorite artists sometimes you know it gets a very very negative backlash <laughs> when they announce marriages but I believe the fans of Nozomiru are not that rash <laughs> I for one I'm very happy for her and I'm I'm a pretty big fan of hers. Um, so yeah. Anyways, aside from that, um, we've got the Ultima Cross special broadcast for the fourth anniversary announcements coming up very soon as well in a few days' time. Um, make sure you check that out. I like I myself has said so um, during the announcement of the special broadcast. Um, sadly to say, I'm working during the day that this broadcast is being done. So I'm gonna try my best to get it um, recorded so I can, you know, uh, interpret the information for you guys as always. Um, so 
yeah, look forward to all that information and what's coming to Bhutan Macross in the year 2021 to 2022. Then of course, there is Air Wow Kure that's coming up as well, same week as the Utah Macross SP broadcast. Uh, as usual, they're gonna use... Um, I guess they're gonna use the old live performances from Valkyrie's live concerts. Uh, if not, who knows, maybe it might be an Utah Macross version. But mm, I've not read the full news information details. I only know it from the banner when they've announced it on the showroom broadcast. Um, for the first time, I've not checked out the Macross info page yet. So if if it really becomes like a you know summary or a retelecast of the old Walkure live performance, which we had um, with the Macross Frontier and uh, Macross Delta Cross live performance, the you know the one that they announced this Air Walkure performance. Um, to celebrate the brand new movies for Macross Delta and Macross Frontier that's coming out um, during autumn this year. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, so with all of that said, let's move on to the actual gacha stuff. So I'm sure most of you guys, oh, we've actually seen the information here <laughs> right now. So, yes, there is a brand new skill introduced with Cheryl's new episode plate. So let's take a look at the episode plate information. 3,890 total score. Pretty good um, high average total score considering that it's a 6 star episode plate. Pay attention to the 3 other divas. Aside from Cheryl of course, she is the main diva on the illustration. So yes, surprisingly enough, Makina is one of them. <laughs> so, well spread stats all around, of course, focusing a bit more on voice, which is what you need for the current event song, which happens to be the same name as Cheryl's new costume, ah, Northern Cross. <laughs> I don't know if they purposely did it, but yeah. So, if you guys load up the game when this event started and of course the gacha was introduced as well you probably would have seen this banner at the start of the, the game um, which also says that there is a brand new live performance basically a new whole set of dance moves just for this version of Northern Cross if you equip Cheryl with this Northern Cross costume so yes you get to see a new live performance which is fantastic and exciting which always makes things good to have when you unlock something new and you get to benefit from it <laughs> all right so aside from that um let's move on to the skills center skill units total is boosted by 30 percent up with that low percentage you know this episode plate is not meant to be used in the center position why would you? After all, we've got 7 star episode plates. Alright, moving along, which is the most important part of the episode plate, I would say. I don't know if the last page has anything or not. You know, Dana might surprise us. But the thing is, this is a new live skill. So I highly doubt there's any special note attachment to this episode plate. It's it's the trend, you know, they introduce something new, don't make it too powerful <laughs> at the start. Alright, active skill, life recovery at 30%, not the best percentage, you know, but of course, you're not going to use this episode plate as a center position episode plate, so why even bother? <laughs> life skill, that's what we're here for. Okay, so if you guys are familiar with the information now, you know, regular dark triangle compared to dark diamond um, the regular triangle basically is short duration abilities they only last for a short time so as you can see it has that score up naming there so it means you know short duration uh, boost and score or something else which is what this skill is all about. So let's tap this tiny arrow here to expand the full skills effect. 
So if you're wondering what FLD means and the kanji beside it, basically it's fold wave. If you guys know Uta Macross well enough like I do, you know fold wave basically is <laughs> when you're trying to charge up your fold gauge you know that bar at the top right hand corner when you're playing a live before you go into an out uh, Valkyrie attack phase that's the fold gauge so you need the um, basically you need fold notes to come out to charge up that bar or normally if you tap notes um, consecutively um, you know you gain a certain percentage of fold gauge um, filled up so Valkyrie mode oh, let me just read here Valkyrie mode at the start of Valkyrie mode all right your fold wave greatest increment basically um, normally you'll get one percent um, every time you charge up your fold gauge through tapping notes all right so for 16 seconds, you increase one more percent. So normally, you only get one percent, but when this skill is activated, you basically get two percent charges, so a lot faster. So you might start to see full gauges at maybe 230 percent by the time you reach Valkyrie attack phase, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, getting that boost in fold gauge will also give you a higher chance of defeating um, the enemies during Valkyrie attack phase which is fantastic um, then of course it has that short duration ability so that's why they use the score up phrasing and of course down here the most important portion I think a lot of people will probably miss out on is the greatest increment that you can do with this skill is a hundred and ten percent boost so yes basically you, you only can boost it il, um, I would say 11 times <laughs> no my math is wrong <laughs> um, okay basically you get two percent every time so it's two times so divide by two so 55 so yeah so basically you get a 55 tap increase is my math right no it's completely wrong don't blame me guys i have not slept since 10 a.m yesterday <laughs> mine is zoning out so my math is horrible right now so don't blame me anyway guys <laughs> moving along all you need to know that this episode plate is just there to help out with events that have you know higher increased difficulty of charging the fold gauge or you know defeating the enemies within the Valkyrie attack phase. Okay, so with that said, in such scenarios there are two special notes you can look for in episode plates to help you well basically clear this event with ease so hopefully you guys are paying attention because these are a lot of um, I'll, I'll call it advanced tips and knowledge of full time across so yep yeah. so the special notes you want to look for is the fold note which is pretty rare nowadays and of course the attack note so the fold note like I said um, which works like this skill it gives you a great percentage boost to your fold gauge which lets you guarantee the activation of Cho Uta Hime mode um, then of course a higher chance for um, beating the enemy in Valkyrie attack phase the attack note is what gives you higher damage dealt to the enemy during Valkyrie attack phase so you know destroying the enemy earlier and of course doing up extra damage it gives you Cho Ultra Hime mode so everything just you know coincides together you need this to help you with this so then you get Cho Ultra Hime mode which is most of the time you know uh, some missions require you to activate Cho Ultra Hime mode and all that kind of stuff 
So events just like this one we are going through right now. Um, Northern Cross does technically have a slightly higher difficulty um, for the you know fold gauge, Valkyrie attack phase, and so on and so forth. All that we have mentioned today. So guys, is this episode plate useful? Well, it is something new. It won't hurt to have a copy. But it is definitely one of those episode plates that you just need a single copy from that series or elemental type, however you want to call it by. If you have one of them, it's good enough. And you know, if you don't get it, it's okay. Eventually you will get one. Just like all the other episode plays in the past that have been introduced for the first time. Now we just have a buttload of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today's gacha pool is going to be a bit different. I am skipping the discounted plate pool for Cheryl's featured gacha. You're wondering why? Well, basically, um, we know by now the first featured gacha of every main event. Basically, the first event, which is the um, ticketing event. Then of course the Kuji event, which is the second event of the month. The raid event is not counted. It's not considered a main event because it doesn't have the same duration as the other events. And of course the last event, which is usually the high score versus event or the diva improvement event, which is what we are going through right now. So only three events will have the event gacha tickets. So usually the first gacha that comes with these three events are the ones with the event gacha tickets. So with these gacha tickets, you can basically save your singing stones for other featured gachas that's currently well, around right now. So that's what I'm going to use my 300 singing stones for. I'm going to go ahead and pull Cheryl's um, featured Cho De Kao gacha. I'm hoping to get another copy of her 6 star episode plate maybe to evolve the episode plate to a 7 star form after all Ranka and Cheryl's 7 star episode plates of these costumes are the first 7 star episode plates with a special note attachment and it's the only one of its kind if you have no idea what I'm talking about there it is the item note it is the only two 7 star episode plates that has the item note attachment to it. The rest of them, they are all score notes, 7 star episode plates. So far we have not seen a healing fold or attack note 7 star episode plate yet. But you know, as of this time, these two notes are still the top priority in all of Utah Cross gameplay right now. So yeah, so it's always nice to give a try. You know, to try and evolve that 6 star episode plate to a 7 star form. Alright, enough talking, let's do the usual stuff. I'm sure you guys are probably falling asleep with all the theory of Bhutan across. So let's do this, the free single pool from each featured gacha before we move on to the big guns. Here we go. Oh wow. Oh wow! Good luck on the single pool. That's not a good thing. Is this a repeat from the last episode? Oh no! <laughs> no! I don't want my luck here! It's just horrible. I've got a few of this episode play now. I think it's gonna get a plus 5 luck value. There. I think it's a plus 4 right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so single free pool. Got very lucky, but I don't know. I, I hope the luck still retains. Uh, okay, let's see. Featured. Nope, I already put this one. So, hmm, let's go with the evening free daily pool. Yes, I'm making this video during the evening period because I have work in the morning till the afternoon. So, finally, I'm able to do this video after settling some household chores. <laughs> hey man, a YouTuber still is 
a normal human being with stuff to do. <laughs> okay, so ooh, pretty rare common plate. And the luck might still be there. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should try testing the waters with the super dimension gacha. Uh, I'm a bit worried. Let's see. Uh, yeah, why not? Some of the tickets are gonna expire soon. I mean, technically it's two weeks away. So why not now? Okay, let's do this. 10 episode plates from the Super Dimension Gacha. Hopefully this one is horrible, so that the other two will be good. <laughs> I can't believe I'm wishing bad luck to myself, but sometimes you need to have bad luck to get good luck. Okay, it's a mediocre Valkyrie animation. Alright, two red boxes. That's fine. They might evolve though. Getting a lot of point episode plates. No evolution on the first red box. Okay. Oh, two red boxes in one go. Lots of maki maki love. Yes, show Nozomiru some love. Make sure you guys go wish her a happy birthday and a congratulations on her wedding or the marriage announcement. I don't think they've gotten married yet, so... <laughs> Who knows? Sometimes Seiyus or idols announce their marriage and then the next few days they announce, oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> uh, things like this happen, so... Okay, so which one to go first? I, I'm i gonna go with the featured Cheryl Gacha. I mean, the bare minimum I want is just costume points for her costume. I'm good. I'm not asking for her episode plate. You know, like I said, it's not that really that important to obtain. I think Cheryl's 7 star episode plate is more important at this point in time. Considering that we are playing a Frontier event. Okay, so seems like the single free pool drained all the luck. Uh, are we repeating last <laughs> episode's luck? This is just horrible! How can we get good stuff with single pools and then the 10 plate pools are just horrendous? Have you guys ever experienced such things for yourself? Reverse luck. Oh my goodness. Don't give me that face free up. <laughs> hey! I get to see Ranka, that's fine. Okay. So, no luck for Cheryl. I don't even get costume points for her costume. Let's just... Wait, no, we do get costume points from the event episode plates. That's currently going. So actually, I'm done. I I didn't actually have to pull her featured gacha. Gosh dang it! I could have saved 300 singing stones. Oh, done. <laughs> oh wait, no. These are event gacha episode tickets. Uh, you see, I'm not even speaking properly. Event gacha tickets. Why did I say episode? Anyways, that's free. That's fine. We didn't get anything fantastic, but it's fine since it's free. Anything free is always good. <laughs> okay, so here is the big biter, a nerve wracking pool. No, because this one actually really uses singing stones and is a discounted pool. Hopefully, we get something fantastic now. Please, please, please. Okay. Extremely fast low. That's not good. Wait, I do have the six star episode play, so technically it doesn't really need to load data. Hmm. Uh oh. No. Ooh. That's a lot of red boxes. Please evolve. Nope. First one failed. Even Kaname is looking nervous. Second one. No evolution as well. What's with all the nervous looks on the D 
No, well, Hikaru is not a diva, so I should say characters. Oh god. Three red boxes with no evolution. Uh, Milane is looking worried too. No, Ray Ray is looking a bit satisfied. I hope the last one is something. Oh no! Don't give me that smile. I mean, you get to evolve your episode plate, or maybe you unlock secret boards, but. Oh, this is just a horrible video. <laughs> okay, one episode played Evolve. Uh, some kind of progression. But come on, what's uh, this horrible two videos worth of luck? Single plate pools getting the good luck, and the ten plates get nothing. Well, uh, technically, the last episode we did get five star episode plates. So. That was still better than today's episode. What's with today? Today is just horrible. Is it because I'm punishing myself for not sleeping <laughs> at all last night? Okay, we're gonna end this on a good note. We have to. It's, it's just a bummer and the ticket is gonna expire at the end of the month anyway. So let's do this. Guaranteed 5 star ticket. Hopefully we get a good 5 star episode played with a special note attachment. To end things off with this horrible, horrible luck. Hopefully you guys did better than I did. Is it because I did not spend money this month? That's why Dana is tossing me all the horrible luck. There we go, a rainbow box. Oh. Do I have this? No, I don't. Isn't this like pretty new? Yeah, it has a special note attachment. Yeah, if I remember, I did say that this is one of the episode plays that I needed to get, right? Mode score up. Yeah, it's Min Min's first ever mode score up episode play with a special. Yes, we got a good one, guys! So the video did not end in vain, and this is one of Minmei's most recent <laughs> episode plates as well. Wow! So even though we didn't get Cheryl's featured plate or Cheryl's 7 star episode plate with a special note, but we did get Minmei's better or rather best life skill 6 star episode plate. It's currently in the game, guys. I'm I'm happy. My soul is at ease and peace at heart. <laughs> it turned out well in the end. Guys, as always, thank you guys for joining me on a pretty long episode this time round because of all the talking about Nozomiru and of course the things that's up to come. And of course the explanation of the brand new life skill itself. Thank you guys. If you have watched through the entire video, you guys are exceptionally awesome you have my full love and of course um, thanks you know for making all my videos um, reach that watch value uh, mark you know it, it helps the channel out a lot you don't have, you have no idea how much I appreciate it and of course if you always leave a like and share the videos my heart is always with you guys you guys are the soul of my channel. You guys are what keep me going and making all these videos. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have better pools than I did. Uh, if you guys got better pools than my Min May episode play, I'm sure you guys probably have. You might have gotten yourself a 6 star episode play or something better. Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below as always. And I'll see you guys in the next Ultime Cross video. Or maybe Monster Hunter Stories 2. It seems like series is doing pretty well on my channel. Check it out if you haven't yet. Bye!